God bless you. God bless you, man. Thank you. God bless you, man. Allah <laughs> I want you to so I keep our dancing back by the womb, but dirty your dam. So I could walk by Joe. I walk and talk about connected to Banu Lower Kia and Joe. I 
In our country, may God help you. Yeah. All at the come you to Oriomi and that farm. Oh. You are welcome. Yeah. 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 So at this point, hey Joe. Nisi, Mofeki in your be me local, Copa me Denny Pa and Lachi Amzad. Eba me Denny Pa, I can fool you example. Papa Mama saw in Bobo, you bunny, a mapino, a Tori Pe, Nigerians in Coventry, me own she program. Tisha Yorubas in Coventry. I won't go around in one B. The bunny won't bow. <laughs> so, okay, here you come about two four. Okay, ah. now, okay, so, Haki Kabe Sikabo, we are full of appreciation. Haku Pelope, Barry Raniwa, Lati, you better to look over to that. I want you to are really making waves in Coventry. To repair when you want to do you to the team who are doing it for you. If you are your wallet, one is your mom. That one your papa, that one is the mass of one your super young. She and you don't be pamo. Oh no, they need to be pamo like Now, we need to be seated and I've got to talk to you and to my people. I'm a penny lawyer, but I want to ask you a joke. Offensive, you don't tell me that. I decide what I do by myself. I mean, and there's some more questions. I want to know. I do it my own time. Enjoy. 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 You know the tiny go joke, go go to joke. Hey, hey, you know the tiny joke. I'm going to start with you. Tell us one or two things you feel about Alaji Hamzat Oriomi, aka the maestro of Kokoro Alaji Ogidiomo. Alaji Hamzat Oriomi, you know me to answer me. In fact, what you sent Kenny is in the morning to be signed as me. Monday I will be there. I'm already three hours late for my job. But what is communicates is affecting for money. No, you can't be here and I'm not Salaji. And I'm so happy to see you. Me and my wife and me, and we are happy to see you. Tipe dekete, la guja. So question of nipe show to our buying. Tori, you must be any of your lati sheke. Tori, personally, you must be more conscious of the mobile. Two ye, but you ruin your share. What? All of our balloon. I know spiritually you are intact. Nothing will happen to you. Go police here. Tori, what are you saying? Humanity. I want to suku and power Larry. I can't have a little bath for you. I'm out back. So, drive me to the money. My bill, I'm sure to talk about buying what buying. But I'm not on board there. Oh, egg bam, egg bam, egg job. Clearly, she's for what? But one in any egg back is yet. If you don't want to do a wrong wife, oh, what you got to see our Nigerian sea. 
Ta mo lo, so question me niye. Fledged broadcaster, registered under government. My father was a broadcaster when he was alive. He worked with the first television station in Africa, and he happened to be one of their best staff until his death in 1999. So the name and that, and just protecting it, the name has been made before I even started the job. So I designed my personal style of broadcasting, fighting for the less privileged, the masses in general. You know, I've been to prison before. I've been to DSS just because of the pensioners and the teachers that time. So at the DSS, the man that was interrogating me asked, is your father a teacher? I said, no. He's not, he's not even more. What of your mother? I said, no. I said, why do you want to die for some people? How does that concern you? I said, it is my calling. He now said, after a lot of interrogation, he now said, he called me personally one day. He said, Mr. Ali, I said, yes. If you want to lose your head, or you want to lose your conscience, which one will you choose? I said, I will lose my head. He shook my hand and he said, I'm done with your case. The next day, 4 p, four a.m., I was anchored, both leg and hands. And I was pulling inside a, a, a Elox uh, van from Ibadan to Abuja. From DSS Ibadan to Abuja DSS. The rest is history. Since I was not destroyed during that time, I made a pledge, a promise to my God under DSS detention that if at the end of the day Uri Omi Amzat is able to gain my freedom back, I will never do anything again in this life till I come to meet my God. That means you sent me this job. I'm not just doing it. I even gave God a time that today I am leaving DSS office. I don't know who you will send to me. But if truly you send me this job, I am leaving today. I couldn't sleep that night. I cried. What made me cry was that the apas, the pastors, that I believe they will tell me it's good to be saying the truth. Some elderly people, they started saying negative things about me. And that DSS office that was a man, a, a, a pastor, he brought the Bible that night. And it was the, the, I was packed with the blood suckers. We were together. I was together with the Boko Haram's. So he was talking to them that day that you are shedding blood. I say you are worshipping God. And I raise my hand. I'm not shedding blood. I'm fighting for the downtrodden people. So I am not part of them. I said, must you fight? Does the Bible tell you to fight those people in power? Is your Quran told you to fight those people in power? Whatever they do, they are in charge. You are not supposed to talk. You see, that statement was thought provocative for me. 
I could not sleep. I was just thinking that like, this man was preaching now. He said he's a pastor. Then I realized some oh, advance have said the same thing as well. So that time I was confused. I could not say maybe I am right or I am wrong. I was not thinking maybe I'm even doing the wrong thing. I thought I'm doing the right thing. No. <laughs> that led me to a sleepless night and I decided to pray, cry, and I want to test that God whether I'm doing the right thing or the wrong thing. I cried. The next day, I slept. I could, you know, I did not sleep at the midnight. So, the next morning, I slept off. When it is 12 o'clock, somebody came to my cell. He was shouting my name. He doesn't know how to call Uriyomi. You know, he's not a Yoruba, a Yoruba man. But he was able to call Amzat. So, I woke up. And they said they should, they said they should bring me. When they brought me to, what happened there? I put my my pen on the paper that I must not say more than that. You cannot say somebody that DSS released to go back to what they did before DSS picked them. Yeah. They are different from police. They are different from military. If military, so that man wants to pick me and DSS wants to pick me, I will rush to the van of military man. Do I go and ask those people that have been picked before now? They know they are not. They are, pre they are protecting the national security. Before anybody could be picked by DSS, they might lie against them that they want to bring down the nation or anything. They don't just deal with people, and they are well trained. So. That day, the man was just telling me that. You know, you know this man? I never met that man. I, never, I did not know anything about him. That was how I left DSS office that same time. My, the chain, the golden chain in my hand and my leg was removed. It's a golden chain anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and I was given a free ride to the airport where I got another one to Ibadan. So who am I to send the way Mubad's father? When those people protected to my office, I gave them money, I gave them water, I supported them, and I talked in support of what they are doing. Even my boys, I instructed some of my boys to join the protest. So, I was at the candle night they did in Ibadan for Mubad, but I was, you know, I couldn't show my face. So I was very happy that contacted me, so I gave him my platform. He talked. Before we even go on here, before we came on here, he talked to me. That was when I realized that it wasn't my case. I am not a blogger. I am not doing my home to make money. I cannot capitalize on somebody's tears to make money. And there is no way. The case is a lost case. If you lose your, your home and you are going to the battleground, you've lost before you even venture into that war. Why do, I, why do we win uh, uh, Timothy's case? What about Timothy? He had Timothy. He had Timothy. He had Timothy. He had Timothy. Talking in one voice. Asking for a single thing. Nothing but justice. They, they, were, they, did not, they, they don't even see anything about the property. They were less concerned about the wealth. They want to know the cause of their son. The wife wants to know the cause of her husband. The children want to know who killed their father. And that was the message, that was the instruction given to me, and that has been the question from beginning to the end. Who killed? Timothy. Timothy. Justice for Timothy. Let everybody that is connected with the 
the death of Timothy be arrested. Let the investigation be done. When the investigation was not properly done in Osho State, we, we, we made a noise. Transferred to Abuja. When we got to Abuja, we realized our Tikowo, we made another noise. Transferred back to Osho State. And our eyes are truthy. But yeah, we say this. Baba, we say this. Yeah, we say this. We now have, we now have fun. We have wife fans. Iya yeah, fans. Baba fans. Ivo fans. If I now put my head, uh, my head now, the the Yawo fans may say, "Oh, you are saying dragons because he supported father." I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I do not see seriousness. I don't see people making money. Out of, out of them. Because, okay, what are we fighting for? Should be a single cause, single question. Who killed this boy? So even the, even the mother and the father, if they are not fighting, if they are fighting before, they should come together that time. Even if they don't love that wife, that time, come together. And you know what they did? They knew the lawyer that fought the battle of Timothy. They ran to him. You don't get it. You know who ran to him now? One of the suspects, one of the prime suspects ran to that same lawyer. Can you see the complication? So I cannot put my head. Because before I start my fight, I do one plus one, and I will ask, when they bring case to me, I will ask, do you really want to do this case? If you tell me yes, I will say, I can call you one midnight, one a.m., two a.m., if you say yes, okay, let's go there. See what is happening about uh, tomorrow, uh, this thing, Molly Hospital's case. Molly Hospital. Molly Hospital. Look at that guy. The mother, the, that's, that, the son of the woman that died at the mother hospital. If you are fighting for somebody like that, you'll be very happy. Yes. Very transparent, very outspoken, very articulate. He knows what he's saying. So if you are fighting for such a person, you keep moving. Tony Kodi Bodu Eje. Kodi Bodu Eje, Kodi Bakesi Eje. I'm also, because we don't, our officer was saying, you go and watch my program. I will not talk to your hair. Your hair is not useful to me. I will talk to you. Amen. You reason. You reason now. I will just another. I would one policeman is now my friend, Commissioner of Police, Augusta Commissioner of Police. He was in UK during that time. He said, when he sat with his people like this, his family, his friends, and they watched that case, he just said, Look, the UK people will say, it's Nigeria, they will lose that case. He just tell them, see this man that is analyzing that case. He has won the case. This man, that analysis, you know I'm a police officer. He has won that case. When I started Moli Hospital's case, some people said, Moli is too big. Ah, me, I don't fight small people now. <laughs> ah, I fought city governor now. Bambala Shanta. Ah, you know now, my friend is there. Ah. Thank you, God bless you. Yeah. Now, is there any other person that wants to ask any other question or make any comment? We did not see day to tie with Correct. <laughs> You want to speak or you want to speak? <laughs> Anybody to make any comment about Alaji Amzat or about the program? Hi. Ah, okay. Alaji Oyiromi. I program. That was the lockdown. 
Now, for speaking English, 25 pounds. Oh, I do
journalist, human rights advocate, and media consultant, ni wa awe yon kupo omo, pe ni kupo skill set yon sa. Background yon at education sa. Dr. Oriyomi Amsat is a renounced Nigeria investigative journalist and human rights advocate with a background in medical, uh, sorry, media and journalism. He has uh, received extensive training in investigative reporting and advocacy. His dedication to uncovering social injustice, as we have seen in today's uh, typical example that people mentioned, and promoting human rights as an in a widespread recognition all over the world. Mr. Amsat, a doctor, is the founder and CEO of Aguidibo FM, a radio station focused on investigative journalism. Over his two decade long career, he has led uh, campaigns exposing corruption and human rights violations. His fearless approach to journalism has sparked significant reforms in public uh, reports in Nigeria. In addition to uh, journalism, Mr. Amsa is deeply involved in humanitarian work. Through his foundation, he supports educational uh, initiatives, scholarships, and aids um, underserved communities for prison reforms, helping inmates assess justice and reintegration. Dr. Amsat's influence extends internationally as he speaks at 
Global Forum and Media and Report overrides. His work has drawn attention to the importance of the free press in shaping just uh, uh, society and his contribution uh, uh, led tangible change in the selector and what he covers. Dr. Amsa has received numerous awards for his investigative journalism and humanitarian effort, both locally and globally. His work continues to inspire young journalists and advocate for justice. Dr. Amsa is married with children, uh, balancing his personal life with the professional and philanthropic uh, pursuits. Despite the risk, he remained dedicated to his mission of truth and justice. In conclusion, Dr. Oriyomi Amsat, fearless commitment in journalism and human rights advocacy has made him a respected figure in Nigeria and internationally. His work, his work uh, in exposing injustice, as we have seen in uh, different examples that was mentioned today, uh, and supporting a marginalized community continue to make lasting impact on the society and we continue to be impacted and we are always we, we all pray for you sir agbadurafi agbadurafi lagbara olorun olorun ama royin lowo sir lagbara olorun ko ibi oni sele si yan ta won bi yin sir ayo ayo la mama gbon pa yin lagbara olorun sir ese lopo lopo thank you can we please put our hands together for him, please? I like your real name, Grant. Walk a profile in while you are alive. Or you are the who look bad or no one. Car for you, you know, pussy. Nick, but see you by my yard, but let me let alone. Oh, she loved to know to my go. See you, he's dead. You see, look bad or no, but she married me. Don't want your baba, but we will cook. One nick because the party program woman like he how vibes here, especially about in the common Islam Christianity. But we just pray, oh go for God. We put our hands together like oh go for God, only one. Oh go for God, oh go for God, oh go for God.